What's going on, Slayers? It's Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin, and we have a brand new event, the Plasma Powered event, and a lot of this stuff looks good. So let's take a look at what we've got. First off, we've got Plasma Arc or Plasma UAC. It looks like a Plasma Arc from like Iron Man or something, and uh, that's obviously an icon for your title placard. Next, we have Plasma Powered, which is a title for your placard. And that actually looks pretty cool as well. Next we have Rock Solid. Looks like a rock sort of mancubus there. Awesome looking icon. Next we have the Concrete Hubus. I guess that's what he's actually called. And he looks pretty mean. Look at that. That's actually a cool looking skin, honestly. Black Hole of Death. That is another icon for your placard over at level 5. Next we have Deep Space. Uh, I'm not too impressed with the colors on the gun there. Uh, dislike, that is another icon, obviously. Kind of foreboding, possibly. Uh, Eurelian, looks like a marauder made of rock, which looks kind of cool. Next we have Cyborg Sam, obviously Samuel Hayden, icon. Circuit Board, that is for your plasma gun. That's actually a pretty cool color scheme. Next we have Full of Stars. That's, that's a pretty cool icon. I, that, that's cool. Next we have Cosmic. This Slayer skin it really isn't that impressive to me, I don't think. And next we have uh, Master Collection. We have a UAC tech. Look at this thing. It's a Revenant skin. There he goes with like, looking all Robocop-ish. Undercharged, that's the podium in the background without all the bells and whistles. Next we have scanning for targets. That's actually pretty cool. Look at him just moving around looking for a target. Target acquired. That's pretty cool. I wish that they actually did that while you were playing the game. That would be kind of awesome. Target terminated. He's going to do some kind of robotic dance there. Look at this. Next we have loader. That's another skin. Not too impressed with the gold color, honestly. Screams in cyber. That's an icon. That's pretty cool. Next we have Techno Marvel, that's a placard, or a title for your placard. That's actually a cool circuit board looking thing. Noxious, I don't know, this is another skin I'm not impressed with. I like the first two. And then Overcharge, that is the entire shebang in the background. The podium with everything on it, all the bells and whistles. Plasma Gun, that is another icon. And then Ray Gunner, that is another title for your placard. So there go all 15 of those prizes. Let's take a look at the challenges. Stress Dream, complete one mission or nightmare or harder. That's 50 XP, 50,000 XP. And then next we have Freezem, kill three frozen whiplashes, 25,000 XP. After that, Shotties to the Body. That's another 25,000 XP. Looking below that, Slayer Recruit, win one match in battle mode. That's another 25,000 XP. The Heat is on. Killed 30 demons with the Plasma Rifle Heat Blast mod. 25,000 XP. After that, Can't Block Them All. Killed 3 carcasses with the Rocket Launcher Lock On mod. 25,000 XP. Arena Purge. Win 5 Battle Mode matches. That's another 25,000 XP. And Coliseum Victor. Win 3 Battle Mode matches. That's another 25,000 XP. Now, if we get 4 out of the 8, we get... 50,000 XP on top of all the XP we already got. If we do all eight, it's 150,000 XP on top of all the XP we already have. And as you all know, I like to go to the final sin with all the cheats on, and it just makes this so easy. It's going to be absolutely quick. So as soon as I load in, I've got my plasma gun, and I'm just shooting at the ground and just hitting them with the uh, feedback from the plasma. There it is real quick real easy and what's going to make this even easier is that i could actually freeze the whiplashes and hit them with this and it'll count as well the only thing that it won't work with is the carcass and as you know this is like the first two minutes of the uh game of the level itself and what we end up doing is coming in we already have a carcass there i'm pretty sure I'm going to get all this done for all, all 30 of the heat blast mod done just in this one little section 
Look at this. I've got the bigger bosses. I could soften them up and then hit them with it. Might take like two or three tries, but at least you get them. Okay, we're going to try with these guys here. And you're just going to keep holding that trigger until you hear like a beep sound, like a light beeping. And then that's when you know that it's ready to go. There are levels to it too. You could keep holding down the trigger. And I think that after the third one, that's it. And that's like the most powerful beam you could have. But there we go. It's just, it's real, real easy. I know there's a whiplash or two in this section as well. There is the whiplash right there. I think I actually missed the whiplash as well. So here we go. I froze the guy. And I really didn't, I, right there I kind of beat them all out. I didn't need uh, to do this to hit the whiplash, but I did it anyway. Yeah, there's another whiplash. I shot him by accident. Yeah, I could have had the two right there. But there's ample opportunity to get them, honestly. There, there's going to be so many enemies in this level that you're able to get those whiplashes and carcasses real easy. In fact, you're able to get them before you get to the final scene, before the final battle. And if you don't get it by then, there is a ton of creatures that just appear there. And to think that they're not there is absolutely impossible. Look at this. Here's our tyrant over here. He's going to give us our shot. He's hit a body right there. And we'll be done with this one. Look at this. Took two shots. Real simple. Now all we do is clean out this area, go to the next area, and then just keep moving from there. Like I said, there's going to be plenty of opportunity. There are plenty of other buildings to like go through. If you've got all the cheats on and everything, this, this shouldn't take you more than five minutes, honestly, to get through the level, to beat the final sin, and to get everything else that you need. So here we go. We're already at the end. And... We're just going to tally up the rewards. We're going to see what we've got. I know some people have had problems where the rewards don't show up right away, but I haven't had that problem. Uh, actually, I'm lying. I, I believe I had that problem once, but they showed up later. So there we go. There's a lot of XP. We'll see how far this takes us. And it took us a smidge under level 6, which is kind of amazing because I figured that it would have given us all that I think they altered the point values or they made some of them lower honestly because I've noticed that like sometimes when you do the very first level you don't get all the way to the end of the at least first bar. So we'll go to the events and then we'll go to the challenges take a look at them see what we've got here and there we go we confirmed that we got the four out of the eight and we've also got the uh, reward for that. And we're just a, a smidge. Any one of those things done will give the, uh, the the final thing in the first set. Probably it'll take us all the way to the end of eight if we do all eight of them. I don't know. We'll see though. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this set? I know a lot of people have had problems with these sets in the past. They think that they're not good. They think that they're walking away from what doom should be i think this set with the rock and the kind of plasma actually looks kind of cool but i want to hear from you i want to hear your thoughts on it anyway other than that i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps this channel out an awful lot as always i want to thank each and every one of you for watching until next time take care be good stay safe take care of each other remember to rip and tear